And we'll get to those stories in a minute, but first, some lawmakers in Pierre are considering the idea of starting impeachment proceedings against Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. Last week, prosecutors announced three misdemeanor charges against Roundsburg for hitting and killing 55 year old Joe Beaver on the shoulder of Highway 14 west of Highmore last September. Couple Lands Tom Hansen has the latest on the mood in Pierre. Last week, a team of prosecutors wrapped up a more than five month investigation. From the start, Roundsburg has insisted that he did not know what he hit the night of September 12th of last year while driving back from a Spink County GOP event in Redfield to his home in Pier. It sure hit and smashed my windshield. Oh no, okay, do you think it was a deer or something? Did he vomit? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I mean, it was right in the roadway. It was Roundsburg who discovered the body of Joe Beaver the next day in the ditch. In Pierre, with the legislature in session, some lawmakers are discussing the possibility of impeaching Roundsburg. That process would involve a majority vote in the House of Representatives and a trial in the state Senate. If lawmakers removed Roundsburg, Governor Christie Nome would name his replacement. Representative Tim Goodwin of Rapid City calls the Roundsburg situation the proverbial 500 pound gorilla in the room. In a statement he sent to Kelloland News, he says Roundsburg is innocent until proven guilty. And instead of impeachment, he's calling on Roundsburg to resign. Goodwin says it would be the honorable thing to do. Roundsburg hasn't commented on the situation, but last year calls for him to take a leave of absence were met with silence. And as South Dakota's top law enforcement officer, Roundsburg continues to work every day at the job voters elected him to do in 2018. Shortly after prosecutors announced the misdemeanor charges last week, a spokesman for Roundsburg said the attorney general would not resign from office. Tom Hanson, Kelloland News. Earlier this week, the South Dakota Democratic Party also called on Roundsburg to resign, saying that he must accept responsibility for his actions.